Hello, welcome to another Addiction Recovery video. Welcome to the podcast, to be listening to the podcast. My name is Paul Garrigan. If I had to give a sort of um, a reason for most of my problems, you know, most of my problems, you know, say, including like the, my alcoholism, and including, you know, the, the, the problems I have in my current life, like sort of, you know, I suffer in the past with depression and things like that. I would say, you know, the, 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 the underlying cause for all of those things is, is self-obsession. Um, it's all about me, is basically what the, what the problem has been. And, um, you know, and this, this is something that uh, I, I found out a long time ago, you know, I found this out in my mid-twenties, but it's just, it, it's still something that I really, really struggle with because, you know, I'm, I'm naturally a selfish person. And I've never, I've never met anyone, you know, who's who, who's who's addicted to alcohol or drugs who hasn't also been a very incredibly selfish person. And I think that's the that, that's the underlying problem. And you know, I don't want to speak to, about other people's depression, but I, I can certainly say any all my depression has to do with self obsession and just constantly sort of thinking about myself and sort of worrying about myself and you know, and it's. Um, it's a full time job thinking <laughs> about myself, and it's a wonder if you know if I'm doing that. It's a wonder I'm depressed. You mean because you know if you they sort of say familiar familiarity breeds contempt, and if you're always thinking about yourself, you're going to get a bit sick of yourself. And um, and you know the one thing I noticed, but all the happiest times of my life has been when I've when I've been thinking more about other people. You know that that's. Without a doubt, you know, without a doubt, you know, the sign, the sign that things are going well for me is that I'm thinking more about other people, you know, and it's the, the, all the times, you know, the, the, the times when things are very, very bad for me is when I'm thinking more and more about myself, and the more I think about myself, the worse things get, and, you know, that's, that's without exception, you know, that, that's, that's, that's the reality, and, um, I sort of I sort of found this out originally, you know, very in a very very sort of powerful lesson. Like I remember, um, you know, when I stopped drinking for two years in my twenties, you know, one one of the highlights of that was um, was a short, you know, was, was a period where I actually I actually started um, doing voluntary work, and it was because it was from that voluntary work that I actually ended up trying to be a nurse, you know, because it's so it's so radicalized my my view of the world because. I was in a, I was in the rehab, and you know, there was a very good therapist there, and, and, and she was sort of, you know, this was as long it was a it was called a dry house. It was a, it was a long term rehab. I stayed there for a, for a full year, and but she sort of got to know me quite well, and she, you know, she sort of, she understood that my problem was basically selfishness, and her answer that was to get me to do voluntary work. And um, I started going to visit this guy who had cerebral palsy and he was very, very profoundly disabled. And um, his problems, you know, just made my problems look so, so ridiculous, you know. That, you know, and I, and I would never ever consider doing voluntary work, you know, before this. But I did it, and you know, I would go for an hour or two. I spent a few hours with this guy every week, every weekend. And it just changed me so much, you know. It just to be thinking about this other person just completely changed me. And I remember when I came back from my first visit with him, you know, I was literally glowing, you know, and people, people were saying to me, what's happened to you? Now, it was like I was completely transformed. I was like, I was just really, really happy. And, you know, and, and, and the, the thing that happened to me was that for those few hours, I wasn't thinking about myself. That, that was the miracle. I wasn't thinking about myself. But it's sort of taken me, you know, and, and, and that was the reason why I became a nurse, because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to, I thought it would be a great career, you know, for, because I could spend more time thinking about other people. But of course, now when you do something for a career, it changes. But I mean, you know, that is the, it, it, the most, it's probably the, one of the most transformational experiences of my life, was that one simple thing of thinking about other people. And it's um, and it's something that I've sort of you know I haven't been paying enough attention to, because you know and and you know even though you know, even since giving up you know addiction like you know over seven years ago most of this time I've been obsessed with me, you know and it's always about me, it's always can we talk about me now, 
you know, it's all this me, 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 me. That that that's the, that's the underlying source of my my misery. So what's what, what can really happen is a lot of the time, you know, I'm just changing. I'm just changing the symptoms of my misery, and because because the misery is the, is this sort of selfishness. So you know, so what, the alcohol is gone, and you know, I won't be coming back. But I mean, there's still it's still this selfishness is sort of you know, it's displaying itself in other ways. You know, it's displaying itself in 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 stuff like depression. Because, you know, it's just, just, you know, and, you know, you can't be, I don't believe it's possible to be depressed and be thinking about other people at the same time. You know, it's a very, it's a very self-indulgent sort of, you know, um, experience in, in, in my opinion. And it's, sort of, it's very hard to be excessively worried when you're focused on other people as well, because, you know, you want to, you're, you're trying to do things, you're trying to help, you know, you're trying to, um, you know, and, and I just... And the other thing, you know, the other amazing thing about thinking about other people is it actually, you know, it, it makes me more effective at at um, at doing everything, you know, because it, it frees up my mind and it means I'm able to get more work done. So by by sort of thinking more about other people, it can make me more successful in everything I do, and that's that, that's the amazing thing because you know I see there's always a trap. When you try to spend more time thinking about other people, you can sort of develop a, a savior complex that you want to go out and save people. But it's not about that at all. Because I mean, the one thing, the one thing I, I, I definitely I, I discovered very early on with, with this sort of with, with this stuff is that you know it's not about the person who benefit benefits most is me. You know? So by thinking about other people, it actually benefits me. So you know, I've I've sort of. Um, I know the solution to to my problems is to think more about other people, to stop being so self-obsessed. And you know, and, and, and I suspect it's it, this is a problem for a lot of people. You know, I think if we all, you know, if anyone's struggling, struggling in addiction or struggling in recovery, you know, it is this self-obsession that that's a huge part of the problem. Um, you know, it was self-obsession that drew me into alcohol in the first place, and it was self-obsession that kept me there, and it's self-obsession that continues to cause problems for me today. And you know, and so, you know, the solution is to think more about other people. But of course, that's easier said than done. You know, like trying to force our mind to to behave in a certain way is is isn't easy. So, you know, what I what I've started doing recently is I I, I there's a technique. Um, I don't consider my, myself a Buddhist, but there's a, a Buddhist technique called meta meditation or loving kindness meditation, and it's something that I used to avoid like the plague. You know, this this meditation technique I avoided like, like the plague because the last thing I want to be doing when I'm meditating is thinking about other people. You know, it's for me it was a, I've always used meditation as as a way to achieve things. You know, to enjoy these nice little states of consciousness and, and all that sort of stuff. So I've always, you know, I've always heard people say loving kindness is great, but I was like, you know, keep that well away from me because I don't want to, I don't want to be wasting my time thinking about other people, you know. Um, but what I've started doing recently is I'm actually starting to use this technique, and just it basically involves, you know, you know, because because the thing about the, the thing about what I've noticed is is, is regular meditation. Um, it's something I've done a lot of in the past, and it, it, it can help me in, in, in some ways, but it can also be very dangerous to me, because it, it doesn't do anything for my self-obsession, um, really. But this loving kindness is, is, is the deliberate attempt to think about other people, and it's, you know, it's trying to deliberately, deliberately sort of cultivate compassion for other people. So, you know, basically what I'm doing, look, I've been doing it recently, and I'm going to try to do it at least twice a day for the next month to see... To see to see how much it can change me, and it's already, you know, I, I can already feel it making a difference. But you know, I want to give it a f give, give it much longer before I sort of um, make any sort of real judgment on it. But you know, I'm hoping that it, that it's going to help you become more, more, less self-absorbed. And if it does, I'll, I'll continue using it indefinitely. So, um, and that's something you know you may want to try yourself because I I I, I really do think that thinking less about ourselves. Is the key here to, to a lot of this stuff because you know it's a real shame you know we can sort of escape we can go to all our troubles of, of escaping alcohol like I did but we can fall into other traps once we're sober and then um, I think all of these traps are, are basically all revolve around this thing about self-obsession 
So, um, thanks very much for watching the video or thanks very much for listening to the podcast. Um, please visit my website, paulgarrigan.com or visit my new website, brandnewchapter.com. Um, and that's it. Leave, oh yeah, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. There's been a few people subscribed recently. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.